I studied in one of the Unity schools in Nigeria, which is one of the best schools at that time. It was brought together by the federal government to bring all Nigerians from all walks of life so that we could be united, so we could move beyond our colonial past. So that was the whole idea. So I finished in Federal Government Girls College Oyo. I was born to professors. My father is a professor of history and my mother is a professor of criminology. So I had an academic background. So that made me start a bit early. So I was in boarding school at nine. I was done by 14. So I started university, which is college at 14. I was admitted to study architecture. And I did that for five years, I graduated, did a master's, got the first distinction in my university, in the history of the university in uh, architecture, which means I got a straight A average throughout. Then I walked, I tried to look for a job in the best company then in Lagos and they, they accepted me. So I started working there. And I think I, I must have been very greedy for work because I kept pushing myself forward for work. And I got opportunities that normally you don't get at my age. So at about 23, I had designed like your treasury in the United States, which is the Federal Ministry of Finance. And then I got bored a bit easily. I, I tired, I think it was. I wanted what I was doing to have a direct impact on my bottom line. To, and I needed to take decisions on my own. I think this is why I started my own firm because I wanted, I knew there was something to express more fully and started in the north of Nigeria, which was very strange, because what it means is that I have to travel to territory that others may consider dangerous at that time. I didn't stay in my comfort zone. So I started doing buildings for bank MDs, you know, CEOs of banks and stuff like that in the north of Nigeria. And it's been over 70 buildings now, till now. And we've become Nigeria's most internationally recognized firm. So when most people would like to reach out to Nigeria from wherever, Germany or wherever, and they want some cerebral work to be done or some commentary on African architecture or something, they would normally reach out to AD Consulting. But the truth is I reflected, I prayed about it, which is something I'm very open about my faith. That's what drives me. And I thought I have something to contribute. I think we were all created to contribute something to society. You have a gift, you have a talent, a definite one, and it's not for you. Yes, you could enjoy using it, like your Yuma playing the cello, you can enjoy using it, but it's meant to enrich somebody else's life. And that is what I think my gift is, to create beauty, to create order, to create order out of chaos, because that's what architecture is at the end of the day. So I knew that was what I was meant to do. See, I didn't give it much thought if it was going to make money or not. In fact, I was pretty sure it wasn't going to make money. I, I, it wasn't about that. I was just happy doing what I wanted to do.